Welcome back to another episode on b Hall Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. And this take two look, we take a look into an arcade port to one of the most expensive games to own on the Sega Dreamcast, Cannon Spike. Looking into the short-lived life of the Sega Dreamcast, the system produced many games that would be dear to many gamers and myself for years to come. Even with its extremely short lifespan, there are so many games that to this day made the system worth every penny. I knew only of one friend growing up who actually found and owned the arcade port but sold it when moving on to Sony's PlayStation 2. We ultimately played the game very little, devoting most of the time to games like Resident Evil, Code Veronica, NFL 2K series, to fighting games like Rival Schools. At its core, the game just felt simplistic and we wanted more than a 30 minute trial run. Looking back and seeing how much the game is on eBay, ranging from $200 to even $600 in its complete package, made me go back and see and give the game a second go on this Take 2 look. Cannon Spike was developed by Psycho and released by Capcom in 2000 from the arcade to the Sega Dreamcast. The arcade was developed using the Sega Naomi board and that made it a very easy arcade perfect port to the Dreamcast. The game itself is a multi-directional shooter similar to games like Smash TV and more modern games like Xeno Crisis. Both games are great in their own right with Can Spike can concentrating more on the mini to large boss fights throughout the game making the levels more challenging and getting your heart pumping almost instantly once you push start. This however leaves the levels short as well. The player can pick from many different Capcom characters, from games like Arthur from Ghosts and Goblins, Cammy and Charlie from the Street Fighter series, Baby Bonnie Hood from Darkstalkers, Mega Man from the Mega Man series, Shiva Shintaro from Three Wonders, and original character Simone that looks to have similarities to Lynn from Alien vs Predator the arcade game. I don't believe there is a true story other than making one up with a madman trying to take over the world. The game ranges from 10 levels that will last you from 25 to 35 minutes depending on difficulty. A short game that makes sense as it was originally made for the arcades. The two player co-op is the best part playing as one of the favorite Capcom characters that you like with unique supers that really does not give the player much decision making other than to aim and shoot with supers from time to time. The controls are very responsive and have no lag and run silky smooth with no issues. Adding a bit more to the game would be ideal, but as it is, a challenging shooter based on the difficulty you wish to punish oneself. The visuals are nice and performance is smooth leaving the game a perfect way to kill time or to vent with blowing things up. I can only see why we bypassed this game for other Dreamcast games as this one made an older game look nicer with 3D and better effects while other games were pushing the Dreamcast to the limits that demanded our attention. Cannon Spike gets a 7.5 out of 10 for its authentic port of the arcade Time Killer with explosive but short lived fun. A great way to relieve stress from work. That's it for me on this take two look at Cannon Spike for the beloved Sega Dreamcast. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.